Kevin Costas from the Fort Worth Star Telegram, wrapping up another season uh, here at Colonial, the Dean and DeLuca Invitational. Dean and DeLuca. Uh, now here at the Colonial Country Club, and uh, an exciting finish, three birdies for Jordan Spieth. He's your champion, and uh, a Texas champion at that. Your thoughts on, on the day? Uh, I don't think it could have been a bigger home run for Colonial today, or for Dean and DeLuca today. The uh, first time under the Dean and DeLuca flag, they get a, uh, a, a guy on the wall of champions whose name's gonna carry some weight for years to come. He's already a two-time major champion. You get a guy from Texas, a guy from Dallas, Fort Worth. It's always gonna be Jordan's first PGA Tour win in Texas, so it's always gonna be historic. And with eight PGA Tour wins at age 22, you know, you'd think Jordan Spieth is gonna have a lot more to add to that and his legacy will only grow. A lot of folks question Jordan up to now with uh, sure. winning at Kapalua this year, but not winning in the majors, right. uh, doing what he did at the at the Masters there on 12. and have been last week. But then coming into last week yeah. and, and not playing well in the final round. But he's he was he got over that today from the standpoint of doing the things that he needed to do to win the golf tournament. Yeah, he really did. He uh, he got some luck. He admitted that. I mean, you you don't uh, make too many birdie birdies going off the Marshall shoe off the grandstand chip in like he did at number 17 today. He acknowledges that, but he also made, hit some great shots. I mean, you birdie six of your last nine holes coming down the stretch on Sunday. That works anywhere at uh, Colonial Country Club or you know Billy Joe's pitching butt. <laughs> Jordan Spieth, the People's Champion, but. Ryan Palmer as well, and Ryan played well enough here to seize the lead through six holes, but didn't have the staying power to get it done today. Your thoughts on how his game is shaped up and where he's at now? Oh, it's so hard to win at home. I think it's what happened to Ryan is probably a little bit of what happened to Jordan last week. It means too much to you. You get in your own way, you get emotional, particularly when you get the lead. Ryan got the lead, boom, boom, two birdies today. And uh, I don't know if he got ahead of himself. I'm not in his head, but... I'd get ahead of myself in that situation, potentially. I mean, it, it means a lot to him. This is his home course. He really wanted to pull this one off in front of everybody, and he really wanted to pull it off in front of his buddy Jordan. Don't, don't undercount, or don't discount how much that meant to him. That's a 2016 wrap on the Dean and DeLuca Invitational. This is our golf expert from the Star-Telegram, Jimmy Birch. Hi. I'm Kevin Costas. Thanks a bunch. We'll see you next time.